the other day I made a pin for a uh, hinge on my uh, wood lathe. The original pin was missing and uh, it was replaced by a uh, big wood screw. Um, but when I tried to install the new pin I found out that uh, there was quite a bit of a taper on there and uh, it didn't fit. It needed some filing. Anyway, it turns out I hadn't uh, set up my top slide correctly. Now there is a uh, protractor scale on the back of the uh, cross slide, but it's uh, not very uh, precise. It's hard to read and uh, also the needle is bent to the right. So in order to set up the top slide parallel with the work, I've been using a uh, square, but uh, I guess that isn't uh, good enough. So today I'm going to make a uh, reference bar that will go between uh, centers and uh, I can use that uh, with a uh, dial indicator to uh, hopefully set up the uh, uh, cross light a bit more precise. Now I'm going to make the uh, reference bar out of this old uh, shock absorber. I'm thinking it will be uh, precise enough for uh, the work I'm doing. Not so hot. Oh, the smell of hydraulic fluids. We got a little oil disaster here. It's a messy job taking these things apart. And here is the inside of the shock absorber. Um, this will pull straight off. I will uh, grind off both uh, threaded ends. I'm hoping that this ring will fit uh, inside the spindle of my lathe. Otherwise I will need to grind it down. We'll see. Well, that's good. It fits. But uh, that doesn't mean uh, I don't want a uh, big lathe. Okay, now I will need to dial this in. Well, this has to be good enough. Now I will uh, face it and then uh, sand it drill it. Hopefully this will uh, be nice and soft. Looks like my uh, cutter is a bit low. Let's add a little shim. These uh, round cutters really uh, mess up the shims. Yeah, something went wrong. Now I'm a bit too high. I don't know. Maybe I should get a quick change tool post. That's pretty far from uh, perfection. Let's take another cut. A bit better. And now I'm going to drill a hole in the center. Hopefully it won't be too far off. That will do. And now I uh, will have to do the same procedure. To the other side, but I uh, won't bore you with that. Before I can install the uh, indicator bar, 
I need to uh, true up this pointy bit. I don't have a uh, MT3 fixed center for this lathe, so uh, I'm using a piece of uh, stock uh, with a point on it. It's probably more accurate anyway. Although uh, setting up the uh, top slide for a 30 degree angle is a bit hard with the uh, bent uh, protractor needle and a uh, scale that only goes up to uh, 26 degrees. That should do it. It feels good. So now we get to find out how true this thing is running. That's better than I expected. Now let's do the tailstock. I do expect some uh, run out at the tailstock end. Let's see how bad it is. Huh. Surprisingly good. Excellent. Let's move on. I spent about 10 minutes lining up the top slide and uh, I think I found a reasonable setting. It took me uh, longer to set up the uh, dial indicator uh, holder. That's a pretty annoying uh, piece of crap there. But once it's set up it, uh, it does an okay job. I'm not, uh, I'm not indicating against the full length of the bar. I've never used uh, the full travel of the top slide, so about uh, 10 centimeters should be enough for me. And I'm not looking for perfection here. If I uh, wanted perfection, I uh, would have been born in Germany. This should already be a lot better than. Uh, lining it up using uh, that square. So I just uh, center drilled a uh, piece of uh, the worst unknownium known to mankind on uh, my other lathe and I am uh, more or less ready to take a cut. I must say that uh, the pressure from the tailstock it uh, makes the spindle bind a bit. So that's something to uh, investigate uh, at a later uh, time. And I'm only putting a very light pressure on there. What's going on here? It's just too loose. Let's see if I can find my uh, micrometer. On second thought, why waste time with a micrometer? The uh, surface finish is uh, not good enough. So I'm using uh, my calipers. Twenty, forty-four, forty, forty-one. Forty-one. Thirty-nine. Forty-one again. Forty 
to forty one. Well, I don't think this is the uh, best test ever, but um, I'm pretty sure I made an uh, improvement here. The uh, pin I turned for the uh, hinge of the lathe was shorter than this, and uh, it had a taper that was almost uh, a tenth of a millimeter. Well, that's it for me. If anybody knows a better way, a simpler way to uh, align uh, such a lathe, I would like to know. Please uh, put it in the comments.